Hello everyone, my name is Scott Cusack and this week we're going to be working on our Ashy Wilders. Okay, make sure everyone's kit's tight, tied, hands by safe, break! Our word of the week this week is Sensei. Our Sensei is our Judo coach. Now we're going to get nice and warm by using some of our knee waza movements which we have done before. Okay, first one we're going to do, just sit on your bums. Remember, if you're on wooden floor, it might hurt a little bit. If you're on carpet, maybe it's not so much. So grab a pillow, cub your knees, rock back, and then try and sit back up. Okay, don't let your head touch the mat. Never in judo do I want my head to touch the mat. That's it. Okay. Next one, plant your feet. Bum up in the air and you're going to touch either side. Good. Keep going. Okay, now just lying on our back. All we're going to do is we're going to touch one ankle and then touch the other. So here, touch, and then touch either side. Good. Next one, we're going to sit down and then we're going to sit up and push our hips up and keep our head and chest up. So sit down and then push up. Good. Keep going. That's it. And then we're going to change legs. So down, and then up. Excellent. Okay. Our next one is going to be our sit through. So I have my hands out and I'm going to push my weight onto my feet. And remember, this foot comes in, it's going to replace this hand. So I step, I take this hand off, and then I'm going to sit through. So, step, and then sit through. Step, sit through. I don't want my bum on the mat. I need to squeeze my tummy muscles and push through. If you can, you can go a little bit faster. And remember, sit through every single time. Next one, onto our back. We're gonna be big circles with our feet, going out the way. That's it, big circles. Good, keep going. Try and get as big as you can. Now just lying on our backs again, keeping your head up. All you're gonna do is you're gonna Bring your legs up and down. Keep them nice and straight. Point your toes if you can. This will be, you need to squeeze your tummy. Don't let your feet touch the mat. Good, now we're gonna go out and then back in. Good, keep it going. Your tummy muscles will be screaming now. Good. Excellent, great work. Our next one is going to be our circles on our back, this time big circles in the way, so big circles in the way, that's it, keep going, good, excellent, keep going, big circles, okay, now we're going to be on our hands and feet and what we're going to do is we're going to put one hand so this hand is going to go here and then all I'm going to do is sit through onto my back so pretending like I'm in this position and then I'm going to sit through onto my back remember if you're on a wooden floor it might hurt a little bit so watch this hand here and then sit through this hand here 
then onto my back. Remember, keep your head and chest up. Excellent, good work. Now we're gonna be doing our sugiyashi movement. So remember, for our sugiyashi, do we want our feet to come together? Nope, do we want them to cross over? No, and remember, we need to have our legs nice and bent. So we're gonna be doing our sugiyashi round the belt. Now, if you've got a spare belt, that's great. If not, you can use the belt that you are wearing. Okay, so our sugiyashi, our strongest leg forward, we're gonna sugiyashi all the way up, and then we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna sugiyashi all the way up the other belt, the other side of the belt. Okay, are we ready? Hajime! Good, remember, bend those legs, keep the head up. Good, remember, what should our hands be doing? Our hands up like we're gripping our partner, good. That's it, nice and fast. Remember, don't like, let those legs come together. Good, keep going now. Three, two, one. Excellent. We're gonna be doing some of our animal movements now around our belt. Okay. Remember, if you don't have a belt, then you can use the belt that you are wearing. So, spread your belt out nice and straight. Our first animal we're gonna be doing is a kangaroo. Now, when we've done our kangaroo before, we've just been jumping as high as we can. Because I think you are getting much better at this, we're gonna be jumping either side of the belt this time. So, like a kangaroo, we need to jump really high, and we're gonna be jumping really high but either side of the belt. Once you get to this side, you're gonna go back all the way to the end. Are we ready now? Kangaroos. Hajube. That's it, keep going nice and high, as high as you can. Higher, good. Try not to hit your head off the ceiling. Keep going. Excellent, keep jumping. Remember, don't hit that belt, either side of the belt. Good. Three, two, one, mate. Our next judo animal is going to be our bear. Our bears, they aren't fast, but they are really strong. So remember, we need to be nice and strong when we're moving around the belt. So, I'm on my hands and I'm on my feet. I'm not on my knees. I keep my head and I'm keeping my chest up and nice and slow all the way to one end. Then I'm going to turn and then I'm going to go back all the way to the other end. Keep going round the belt for the full 30 seconds. Ready? Hajime. That's it. Good. Head and chest up. Remember, small little steps. Don't let that bum be wiggling. Good. That's it, keep going now. Excellent. That's it, squeeze those tummy muscles. Good, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, mate. Our next judo animal is going to be our frog jump. Okay, so our frogs, they don't do little bounces, they do big giant jumps. Now remember, we've done this before and we've been trying to get as far as we can. So we're gonna be doing five jumps and we're gonna try and jump as far as we can. So watch here, when I jump, I want to land in the same position that I start. So I've started with my legs bent all the way down, my bum's almost touching my feet and I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna land in this same position. I don't wanna put my hands down, and I'm not gonna try and fall over. If you fall over, it doesn't count. So watch like this, crouch down and jump, and land in the same position. Ready? Hajime. 
You're doing five big jumps this time. Good, keep going. Remember, if you put your hands down, it doesn't count. Excellent, keep going. Good. Three, two, one. Our next judo animal is going to be our bunny rabbit jumps. Okay, tiny, tiny little bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits have bunny ears. So everyone, get your bunny ears on and we're gonna be jumping. Tiny little jumps all the way to one end of the belt. Once we get to one end, then we're gonna be bouncing back to the other. Should I be falling over? No way. Keep your head and your chest up. Ready? Hajime. That's it, head and chest up. Good. Keep your head up. That's it, tiny little jumps. Try not to fall over. Good, keep going. If you fall over, get back up. That's it, keep going. Three, two, one. Our next judo animal is going to be our flamingo hops. So remember, flamingo stand on one leg. So we're going to stand on one leg and we're going to hop all the way to one end of the belt. Once we get to one end of the belt, then we're going to change legs and we're going to hop all the way back. Remember, don't put that other leg down. Keep that leg up. Ready? Hajime. That's it. Hop in. Don't put your other leg down. Keep going. That's it. Perfect. Remember, try not to touch the bell. Go all the way around the bell. Good. Keep going now. That's it. Hop, hop. Three, two, one. Today we're going to be working on our ashiwazas now. Ashiwaza means foot technique. Okay, so I'm going to explain how to use our feet. Now, like clapping, you wouldn't clap your hands like that, would you? You'd clap with the soft part. Okay, so with our feet, I want everyone on your bumps and you're going to clap your feet together. If you were to clap like this, it would hurt. Or like that, it would hurt. So the feet and everyone clapping your feet together. Okay, so how I'm able to turn my foot and clap with this part, I need to turn it and I almost imagine it like it's a golf club, okay? So I turn my foot like a golf club and when I sweep, I'd sweep like this. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna step and we're gonna give our foot a high five. So step and high five like this, okay? We're gonna keep doing that for 30 seconds. Are we ready? Ajui. That's it. Step and give your foot a high five each time. That's it. Good, turn your foot. Make sure you turn your foot. Don't hit the top of your foot. Good, keep going. Excellent, that's it. Keep working. Make sure you turn your foot. Three, two, one. Good work. Now, I hope everyone's getting their foot turned. Now, we're gonna move on to our step and sweep, okay? Now, when I'm sweeping my partner's leg, I need to remember that I don't want my foot to come off of the mat. I need to keep my feet on the mat so I can catch the bottom of their foot. If I go and bring my leg up like this and it's too high, I'll end up just sweeping the leg and it won't work. So, when I step and sweep, now, as you see, when I step, I bring this hand up like it's like it would be their sleeve hand and bring it down to the floor. If I was sweeping this side, it would be the lapel hand. I don't want to keep my partner up because they won't fall over and I won't get any points. So when I step, I sweep and bring this hand down. So step and sweep. The one that steps, I bend. So I bend and sweep. 
bend and sweep, bend and sweep. Okay, we're gonna do some Uch Kobe on that. Are we ready? Hajui. That's it, step and sweep, good. Remember your arm and your foot together. That's it. Nice and slow for this first one. Make sure you get the technique. Good, keep going. That's it, step and sweep, good. Three, two, one, mate. Okay, so this time I'm gonna be doing it with you. So remember, when you step, sweep. Step and sweep. I want the one that steps to bend. I can't have it straight like this. Are we ready? You're gonna do it at the same time as me. Little bend in your legs. Ready? Hajube. That's it. Step and sweep. Step and sweep. Good. Keep your head and your chest up. Good, keep going. That's it. Try and go a little bit faster than you can. Make sure you're turning your foot every single time. Good. That's it. Keep going. Three, two, one. Mate. Okay. Excellent. Last time now, we're going to be practicing our Uchikomi. I'm going to do it this way so you can see when I step, sweep. Okay, are we ready? Ajume. That's it. Now we've got the rhythm. Try and get a little bit faster. You can hear my feet on the floor. I want my foot on the floor as long as possible. Good. Make sure you're turning your feet. Head and chest up. Mate. Great work, everyone. Now, when we're doing our ashwaza, you can never ashwaza anyone if they're not moving. So we need to have our partner moving around the mat. So I'm going to be moving around the part mat with my imaginary partner. Everyone say hello, Bob. Okay, so I'm going to be gripping sleeve and lapel. Now, I need my partner to be moving. So watch when I'm moving around, I can now practice sweeping my partner, okay? So I can sweep my partner in any direction, but remember, you need to use your arms as well. You can't have your partner over here and then try to sweep their, because the, the legs are there. So look, have your partner in front of you, and when you're moving, you can sweep your partner, keep your legs and your head up. That's it, sweep like this. Okay, are we ready? Hajube, that's it, keep your head up, bend your legs. Remember, your partner needs to be following your movement as well. Good, that's it, keep moving around, bend your legs. Remember, turn your foot and sweep. Good, keep going. That's it, try not to bump into anything. Three, two, one, mate. Great work, everyone. Now remember, our word of the week this week is sensei. Okay, now we've worked very hard. We're going to do some, some stretches. And especially for our ashiwaza, so getting our feet nice and mobile as well. The first one we're going to do is we're just going to turn our foot onto our side and just put a little bit of weight through our foot like this, just so we're able to turn our foot and sweep our partner. Just hold that. Good. That's it, give it a little shake. Okay, now the other foot. That's it, put a little bit of weight through it. Our foot's not really used to this movement, so this is good for us. That's it. Okay, give it a little shake. Now the next one is gonna be, I'm gonna put my weight, so I sit one foot back, and then gonna put this knee up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sit through, but I want to try and keep my heel on the mat. If I'm like this, 
it's not going to work. But I need to keep my heel through the mat. And all I'm doing is stretching and mobilizing my ankles. Good. That's it. Keep the weight going through. Try and push your heel into the mat. Okay. Other leg this time. So, leg down. This foot up. Now I'm going to put my weight through the front of my foot, but try and keep your heel on the mat. That's it. Pushing through. Good. Keep holding it. Okay. Now, sitting on our bums, one leg straight, and this one, we're just going to roll our ankles and turn our ankles like this. Turning our foot, pushing it up, pulling it down. Good. That's it, keep turning. Okay, other foot this time, same thing. That's it, turning, pulling, pushing our foot, good. That's it. Okay, on our feet, give our legs a little shake. Great work on our Ashuwazas, everyone. I hope everyone will be practicing them lots. Hands by your side. Break.